Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I ordered this HP USI pen, I think yesterday or the day before that, it arrived today. I wanted to try it and see how it will work on the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. I already have the Lenovo USI pen here, but I'm not that happy about the, the pin tip here. It's a little bit too round and it doesn't give a good experience. So I wanted to try this HP one, which is the most expensive USI pen that you can get right now. Uh, there are like mixed reviews. The initial reviews were bad because as I read about it, they like HP sent like this um, review units, not the final units that they shipped to the like mass production. So this is like a mass production. So I want to see if it will perform good or it will have a similar problem as the other reviewers had with these uh, review units. So we will see that. So before we get started, please subscribe and stay tuned. I will also in future do more reviews about this HP USI pen and compare it also to the Lenovo USI. Pen. Let's start with the unboxing and see what we comes inside of the box. I will try to open it for the first time. I'm doing that right now also. Let's see how it will work. And you will see that together what comes inside of the box. So paperwork. The packing is much better than the Lenovo USI pen. The Lenovo USI pen had nothing inside. This is at least much better. Okay, that's the pen and it is good actually. It comes with two separate pin tips. The problem with the Lenovo USI pen is that you don't have any other tips. And I already also searched for it. What happens if it be broke it? I couldn't find any uh, pen alternative, like tip alternatives for this Lenovo USI pen. It's, it's good that here you have two tips and you can see that immediately how thin the tip of this, how sharp it is compared to the Lenovo USI pen. How round, you can see how round it is here. So that's the pen. What else we have in the box? As I know, it has a battery inside. So we can, we, you can charge it. As you can see, you have also USB-C to USB-A. That's also really good. The problem with also with the Lenovo USI is that uh, it comes inside, there's a battery that you have to change it after a while. You cannot charge it. So let's also open this part. Okay, that's to take out the pin tip, the tool for that. And you have also two pin tips here and the pen itself, as you guys can so, see here. Now we have the pen here and the pen tips and this tool for uh, changing these. I will put them aside. We don't need them right now. There's also this manual with it. It has also like a battery indicator here. I will showcase that also right now. So when it's uh, like solid red, it's charging, solid white, fully charged, blinking red, and then it's low battery. It's good. If this You have this battery status here because in the Lenovo one, you don't have that. So you don't know actually when the battery will be low here. So here in the pen, first thing, see, when you hold it in your hand compared to the Lenovo USI pen here, it's much lighter because it doesn't have battery like this one here. So it feels much lighter. So maybe it's more comfortable to write with it for a long time. I have to try that and I can tell you how it is. In order to charge it, you need to open it from here. You can do that. It's a little bit tricky to open it. It's not that because you don't have any grip here, so a little bit weird here, but you have the USB-C port here to charge it. And you have a battery indicator in this round tip here. I will showcase it right now. But the first, the most important part for me that how it feels in hand, it feels lighter than the Lenovo one. And, but it feels a little bit cheap feeling. So it feels a little bit cheap compared to the Lenovo USI pen. I feel that this is more premium, although this is half of the price of this. It costs like 80 euro in Germany. It's cost 40 euros, so there's a like big price difference here. But the most important thing for me is this pin tip here. You can see, and see here how round this tip is and how sharp this is. So I hope that this will give me a better writing experience, but we have to try it and see if it will work. So now I will try to charge this using the Lenovo Chromebook Duet here. 
the cable that it came with it. I will try it. Let's see if it will work. And let's connect it. Now you can see it's like glowing red. It means that it's charging. So it's good that it's working. And this is also, this is a sticker, so you can remove it. So it will look much cleaner without this sticker. So don't worry about that part. And you can see, I hope that in the video that this is now glowing red, so it's charging. So you can charge it using the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. Now is the truth, how it will perform compared to the Lenovo US iPen here. I will do a full review, like comparison between these two, but this is as a first impression. You can see how different is the thickness here. I don't want to talk about the diameter, like uh, dimensions here. For me, it's important how it feels when you write, but clearly because it's sharper, it has to perform better. And we will try it now together. I didn't do that before, so it's also my first time I'm trying this. So we will see how it works. Oh, it's re it writes really good. This is a test. It performs perfect here. Yeah. The pressure is also off here. Sometimes I realize when the pressure is off here in this grid app, I can write better and it feels really good. You guys have to try this. It's expensive, definitely compared to the uh, Lenovo US iPen, but it performs much better. Let me try it now with the uh, Lenovo one here. Yeah, this is too round. This doesn't feel good now anymore. <laughs> I might keep this HP US iPen here now that I wrote with it. It's, uh, this is really good. This feels like a pen just because of this tip. It's so amazing how much difference it can make. So I will now try again to see, you guys can see it also better. This works really good, really good, really good. I'm really happy about it. The line thickness, everything feels much better here in the HP one. It feels like really like a pen because it has a really sharp tip. This is really good. I want to try it on the OneNote app for the last part of this video to see how it works here. There's a delay here, but this has nothing to do with this Lenovo, with this HP USI pen. Let's try it with the Lenovo one here. It feels a little bit thicker. It doesn't, my handwriting will say is much better using the, uh, this HP one here. And yeah, I could say that there's a delay here, but it performs, it feels much better to write because of the wrong tip I will say here, because of the sharp tip here, as compared to the Lenovo one. I say for now, that this feels lighter, but that gives also the feeling that it is cheaper, this HP US iPen compared to the Lenovo one. Although this is like a two times more expensive. It feels better to write because the tip is uh, thinner here and sharper compared to the Lenovo one. Lenovo has a like a round tip here and you don't feel like you're writing with a sharp pen. That's a problem here. That gives you that feeling. I have to do more review of this pen here. So in the next video, I will do a full comparison between these two pens here. And I will t give my verdict, which one you should consider. And so please stay tuned and uh, hope to see you guys in the next one.